Hello and welcome to Daily Tech Video. In today's episode, we are going to see everything about iMessage service. If you are new to iPhone, then this video will definitely be helpful to you to understand how to activate iMessage service, what are the features and settings that is available, and how to send and receive messages with your friends and family members. All right, the very first thing is after you have completed the setup of your new iPhone. If the iMessage is not activated by default, we can go to settings app and then scroll down to the bottom and tap on the messages section and there you can see the iMessage toggle. If it is not in green color, then you can turn it on and it will take a little bit time like a maximum two minutes to activate the iMessage service for your phone number. So it is important that you have inserted the SIM card and you have signed in with your Apple ID and password. So the next step is you can configure from which phone number and which Apple email ID or Apple iCloud ID that you want to send and receive these messages from. And this is the section where you can select from where you can actually start your new conversation from. This is the default sender address for your iPhone. The next thing is the share name and photo feature. This is introduced in iOS 13. So if you want to set your Animoji, Memoji or your contact picture uh, to be automatically shared with your friends who are also using the iMessage service, then you can turn this feature on. And the next important feature is text message forwarding. So here you can select which Apple devices. If you own multiple Apple devices, then you can configure to which Apple devices your messages application can be synchronized with. So other than the iMessage, all your messages like that you receive on your SIM card as normal SMS services will also be synced with your iPad and Mac computer and you can control them in this text message forwarding setting. If it is not properly working, even if you have a multiple Apple devices, even though you have logged in with your same Apple ID, then there is a tutorial I have already published in our channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video or you can click on this eye symbol to access that particular tutorial and fix that particular problem. All right, so the next one is send read receipts. It is just like any messaging app, whether the sender should know whether you have read their messages or not. The next one is send as SMS. If the internet connection is not available and you're sending an iMessage, then it will be automatically switched to the normal SMS service. So if you want that particular feature to be turned on, then you can toggle that here. It is important to keep that on like in case of emergencies if you are sending a message from somewhere and if your friends or family members are not able to reach you high message feature then the messages will be automatically you know sent as sms so this will be useful to leave it on and the next one is uh, keep messages it is kind of a message history feature you can configure whether all the messages should be maintained for 30 days and automatically it should be appended you know when the new message comes out the older messages will be automatically deleted flushing should happen or not you can decide that here and next one is unknown and spam so here i have the sms filter app installed you can configure the third party application uh, i don't trust on the true caller application so i didn't turn it on so i have configured the spam filtering option to the sms filter it is a separate application a paid application but does the job uh, really wonderful and it is available in app store you can download and install it you can decide which sms uh, you should receive and if you have accidentally received any messages that looks like spam you can mark them as spam uh, by opening this sms filter app so it is easy you can turn it on and you can control that particular feature with the uh, third party spam filtering application and the next one is audio messages if you're receiving or sending audio messages you can decide how long that particular message should stay on your device um, so by default it is either two minutes you can cancel the auto deleting feature by setting it as never and the next one is raise to listen if you are receiving any audio messages simply raise the phone to your the microphone to your ears and it will automatically start to play the audio message and the final one is the low quality image mode if you want the messages to be sent in a low quality image mode with a high compression you can turn this on but my recommendation is don't turn it on unless you know what you are doing because most of the time if we have any text matters in the images then it will be compressed and uh, the receiver will not be able to read the texts properly so for that reason i would recommend you to consider turning this one off so whatever the picture you send it will be sent in the same uh, quality all right the next one is the messages app 
This is where everything happens like it is just like any other messaging app that you have previously used plus it has this iMessage feature. So all the SMSs, iMessage groups that you create and send and receive message everything is managed here. The SMS spam filter is in action at this particular folder. As you can see, there are two tabs. If it is enabled uh, to you know, filter the spam messages, then you will see the two tabs. So all the spam messages and any other notifications that you want to see can be moved to this unknown and junk area. And then if you want to send a new message, you can tap on this pad with pencil icon to initiate a new message. When you search for a person, you will see that the blue color indicates that the person or the number have iMessage activated. If it shows in green color, then it is not iMessage activated number. It is a normal number. It will be sent as a regular SMS service. So this is how you differentiate. And if you have their Apple ID act enabled in their contacts page, that will also be listed here. And you can access those things. Like if you want to send it to the, their number, by default, it shows the number of the uh, receiver here. I'm going to tap on this arrow and you will see that the toggle has expanded to show me other numbers or the Apple ID of the particular contact, which has the iMessage feature in enabled and which doesn't have the iMessage feature enabled. We can decide to which particular number or email ID we can send and receive messages from. And if you want to create a group, you can add multiple contacts and the group will be created. So you can maintain the iMessage group just right from the messaging application. And if I'm going to use the all the iMessage feature, it is important to, to know apps function that Apple have introduced, you know, since iOS 12, I believe. Um, so this is very useful section. It has its own app store. The messaging app has its own app store. And here you can see if you want to send a photo, you have to tap on that photos icon and you can access all your the camera roll here. And if you want to take a quick photo and send it, you can tap on this camera icon and it will immediately open the uh, camera icon and you can shoot a photo and send it immediately. And the next one is if you want to access access the app store this is where the place all the messaging app related apps are available mostly you will see the integration with your existing applications i have the night sky app installed so if i want to use any uh, data related to the astrology or you know something related to the astrophotography related things that about the stars moons and the planets i can use this particular application directly from my messaging keyboard area you know without navigating to that application so these are stickers and you know there are so many paid sticker apps available i personally recommend you to consider the free sticker apps uh, that is available for us to try and I do have a detailed tutorial about the stickerly where you can create and manage all your stickers with your photos or your friends photos or any special characters that you you know uh, that you can download from internet so it is a beautiful app and I'll leave a link uh, on how to create that stickers and how to use this application effectively in the description of this video also you can navigate to that video by clicking on this i symbol and the next one is this animoji section like whatever you speak uh, this animojis will create an uh, animated uh, video video clips uh, short video clips and you can send that to your friend so this will be funny uh, you know if you want to spice up your conversation a little bit uh, you can record this by clicking on this red color button and uh, the animoji will be recorded so there are several characters that you can decide and you can create your own animoji character uh, by visiting this plus button uh, you can and you can create your own uh, you know the memoji and animojis and the next one is the stickers available based on your uh, Amimoji creation. And then all these, you know, stickers are extra characters that is available over there. And you can tap on the plus icon, you know, to create new one. And the next one is the GIF app where you can, uh, you know, simply search for any uh, GIFs while you're chatting with your friends or family members. You can simply send GIFs right from the keyboard. You don't need to navigate uh, to any other application. If you're listening to some songs or you want them to listen, tap on the music app and the activity. You can share any motivational activity rings here. The digital touch is where like an Apple watch kind of interface. You can double tap to send your you know heartbeat like of uh, messages and you can scribble something uh, with the different colors and you can send it to them so this is how uh, this particular feature works and uh, other than that you can see youtube dropbox and so many other applications you can simply search youtube right from this messaging keyboard section you can send that video to them uh, quickly with any messages that you want to add 
Scanner Pro. This is another useful productivity application where you can quickly scan a document and send it to them right from this section. And Spotify, GIF keyboards, and so many other things are there. You can tap on that more icon and you can select any other application that you want to add it by clicking on this edit option. Okay, so this is how you actually use applications with your messages. And we are going to send a sample message here. So, hi, I'm going to send just hi, how are you? How are you? Okay. And you can see before sending the message, you can do more animation related stuff by tapping and holding the send button for just a second. So it will show you all the effects, the slam effect that you want to send it uh, with that particular message. Uh, it is for loud and you can send it gently and you can send it with a magical uh, invisible ink where the message will not be seen. They have to swipe it to read the message. So it will be hidden with a little animation effect. And the next option is you can send another, you know, the entire screen can be sent with an effect. As you can see, there are several options for you to try. Uh, so this is one animation effect and this is another one spotlight and this is for balloons. Like if you're sending a happy birthday to your friends or family members, you can use this one. And the next one is confetti for another celebration moment and the next one is heart and then here a kind of uh, laser lights and then the fireworks and then the shooting star to wish them a luck and then the celebration so these are the animation effects that you can you know send with your iMessage so this is quite interesting and you know you can spice up your conversation with your friends or family members using these effects other than these you can also send the audio message by tapping and holding on this particular button you know before typing the message you will see this toggle to send an audio message some of my friends you know frequently send audio messages instead of uh, text messages uh, i really wonder why but it is kind of a convenient right like instead of typing a long text you can quickly you know record a voice of your uh, the message that you want to deliver without any misunderstanding you know this audio messages are really powerful so here you can simply tap and hold and the audio message will start to record once you have recorded it you can preview that by you know releasing the finger and then you can play that audio if everything is okay you can tap on the send icon on the top section otherwise you can delete it and you can re-record what you want to say and uh, you know you can proof check and then you can send it so this is how the messaging app works and the iMessage actually works and it has so many applications for you to try uh, also you can switch keyboards here by tapping and holding on the globe icon at the bottom left corner you can change to different keyboards and you can also change the keyboard alignment by you know one hand usage if you need a smaller keyboard uh, you can switch that here uh, at the last option or you can set it to the center one. I'm comfortable with the center one. So these are the options available with the iMessage and the messaging app. And I hope you found this video useful. For more Apple related tutorials, tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. And if you find it useful, you may also share it with your friends who are going to buy a new iPhone or just bought a new iPhone or iPad. And this video will definitely be helpful for them to understand and use iMessage with you. All right, thanks for watching. Have a a wonderful day stay safe